Welcome back guys, it's me, Mr. Frederick, once again. And today, in this lesson, we're going to learn to take the, you know, the slope intercept form and turn it into the standard form, okay? So, the standard form we have is here, AX plus BY equals C. And just to, just to recap here and to understand that A and B and C are all integers, that means they're not fractions. None of them are fractions. Okay, so the form has to have no fraction in it. And also to understand here, you want to be reminded that A, which is this first part here, must be positive. Okay, those are the rules to understand for that one. So here we have a slope intercept form, and we need to change the standard form. So how do we do that? So we get y equals 3 over 5 x plus 4. Right, so one of the first things I would do is I will multiply the five with the y. Since it's a fraction, I just multiply it so they can separate it. So I would just multiply this five with this y. So that would be five times y is equal to five y equals three x plus four. Okay, so far so good. Just remember the the, the x which has the a in front of it, which is three, must stay positive. So I wouldn't want to subtract this one. I want to keep it. So I will have to subtract the 4 to the other side. Okay, to move it. So it could be 5y minus 4 equals 3x. And I will also have, I have to subtract the 5y on both sides. So that I can end up having... Um, negative 4 is equal to 3x with the a positive minus 5y. Okay. Yeah. So I will end up doing that way. And by doing that, that should be it. So that is, but I'm going to fix it again. So it could look like this. So it will be 3x minus 5y is equal to negative 4. All right. And we that's, that matches AX plus BY equals C. As long as A is positive, the rest of the problem could be like that. Okay? So that's how you solve it and change it from a slope-intercept form to standard form. All right, that's Miss, this is Mr. Frederick. And see you in the next one.